And um, what's really important for me is when my, when I'm doing my coaching, whether I'm doing my marketing, whatever I'm doing, it's you. It's about creating an environment where that person can show up and feel heard and understood and not judged. And there's a lot of this in small business owners where they feel like they should be doing this the right way, should be X, 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 right? And the fact is, we're all learning. I wasn't, I didn't start a business with all this business knowledge. No one does. You can go and do an MBA like I did. That won't teach you how to run a business. The only way to learn how to run a business is to go and run a business. So we're all trying very hard. And I, and I know that for my clients, it's really important that they can show up and, and just be themselves and be really honest because we need to get to the bottom of what isn't working as much as we do what is working. And the only way to do that is for people who you have to go, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, or I've tried this and it really failed and messed up. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, we know what we're working with and then we can go from there. So I think those are probably the, I can probably think of some really slick yeah. uh, marketing responses, but they're not, that's my truth. That's, it's just honest, that's right? Who I, am. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And I think it's nice yeah. that you've got all sort yeah. of focus on um, the coaching element of it with, with like looking after that personal well-being as well, because I see a lot of entrepreneurs out there who I, I always say, right, if things are great at home and things are tough at work, you can survive. And if things are tough at work, but they're all, I said that before, things are okay at home, but they're tough at work, then you can survive. And when both are really tough, where do you go to when you're an entrepreneur? So like, that's really important for me is like, I've built a really good support network and, and, and that's important for me as a person to, to make sure I'm checking in on my, my colleagues and network. But it's mm. interesting to see somebody balancing supporting early stage businesses with that personal well being as part of a coaching strategy as well. Is that, I imagine that's quite rewarding. It is, it's rewarding for my clients. Um, and it's rewarding for me. Um, the emphasis on this comes from really challenging times. So one thing that we haven't mentioned, which you may know from my profile is I closed Ray's Bakery three years ago and I did that. I could have kept on going, but I made that choice to close and it was a really hard and really easy decision to make. And. The reason that I took that decision to close is that I was in a new relationship who is now, I'm now married to that person. Yes. And, um, and I remember standing and actually it's getting me a little bit like emotional thinking about, it. I remember standing in the street outside my house and I had to go into work and I was on the edge of having a breakdown. I had had enough. I was exhausted. Yeah, I was just, I was done really. And I remember saying, I, I just was like, I don't want to go into work, but I got in the car and I went to work and it wasn't until about another two months later that I actually went, do you know what? I'm done. I'm done here. I've had enough. Um, I've given it on my all and I just don't want to do it anymore. 